Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel. Most of you won't know this, but My Name is Earl is one of the first adult sitcoms I ever watched and enjoyed. Growing up, I would watch this with family, and since gaining Disney+, Plus, I have watched the whole thing through several times. Now, there are a lot of episodes that I think are really great for different reasons, but there's one which shines above the rest and really captures the soul of the show, and the plot to this episode really reflects that. Number 1 is the greatest episode of the show. It serves as the series finale of season 1 and really challenges everything Earl has been through up until this point. So the cold open to the show establishes that Earl was a bad person up until receiving a lottery ticket for $100,000. He gets hit by a car and loses the ticket. After waking up in hospital, he realises he needs to change and creates a list with the goal of making up for every bad thing he's done to people. Up until this point in the series, the audience has seen Earl do all sorts of crazy things to help friends and strangers in the name of karma, but number one changes everything. Whatever wacky situation Earl and Randy found themselves in was aided by Earl's lotto winnings. Well, number one reveals that Earl stole money from someone's pocket to pay for the ticket. It was never his money and believes the only way to make things right with the guy is by returning all of his money to him leaving Earl and Randy penniless. From a literal point of view, this leaves Earl in a tight position as he can't continue the list as he has no means of getting around to find these people and doesn't have the possible finances required to do favours for them as well. Whereas from a more personal perspective, it really damages his relationship with Randy as neither of them have money for food or the ability to pay for their motel room, which completely abandons them and leaves them utterly helpless. This show has always had a unique view of karma, it's a very dramatised and over the top view of faith, which fits the overall plot of the show very well. Yes, it could be seen as outlandish and unrealistic to the real world, but I think it's comparable to someone having a strong belief in religion, or the unquestionable romantic love for another person. This episode takes everything away from Earl, and despite all the hardship and suffering, he never loses his faith in karma. His word is everything, he promises Paul all his money back and even gives him some additional money he believes he owes him later on in the episode. Despite Paul being a bad person as well. A series of flashbacks ties this plot into the introduction of the show and serves as a kind of prequel to the series as well. The audience sees that Paul steals the ticket back from Earl instead of aiding him. But shortly after, Karma takes the ticket from him and he suffers the same fate as Earl getting hit by a car. Which is the show's internal law at play. Only someone who Karma deems worthy and has the potential to do real good is allowed the lotto winnings. Which is how this episode ends. Paul gets hit by a bus after being rude to a homeless man and begs Earl to take his money back. Yes, there is an argument that this episode's ending is a bit weak and it just resets everything, but I don't think that's the point. I believe this episode is meant to be an overall exploration of faith and that Earl and Randy each represent an opposing side. The hardships presented by the plot was too much for Randy and he snapped. No food and comfort was too much for him to handle. Whereas Earl's faith that he was doing the right thing remained strong throughout the whole episode, even when things were most challenging, which in itself shows a great character development for him across the first season of the show. That's why I think this is a great episode. What do all of you think? I would love to hear your thoughts and comments down below. If you like what you saw then could you please hit that like button and subscribe? It will help with the YouTube algorithm. Stay close as I try to post new content every single week. 